Hello guys, Craig Frost here for another Juicy Tuts tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching this one. Um, today we're going to look at something which has been in previous versions of Photoshop. You don't need Photoshop CS6 which I'm running here. Um, but we're going to look at something called Content Aware Scale. I've looked at Content Aware Fill in the past but um, in a previous video. But we're going to look at something called Content Aware Scale and why and where you might use it. Um, let's say you have a picture, like a portrait, like this, and it looks fine, it looks good. But let's say, for whatever reason, you need it to be slightly wider. You need, uh, maybe it needs to fit a frame or something like that. I don't know why, but maybe you would. Oh, God, you keep asking me why, and I don't know why. Anyway. So width, let's say you need to add, um, I don't know, what's a good, 400 pixels in width? Whoa, that's quite a lot. Um, whoa, I wonder if you can hear that, the ice cream van going along the top of the road. I wonder if you can hear that in the microphone. Anyway, um, put headphones on, maybe you'll hear it. Uh, what you might do in this picture is to make it fit a certain aspect ratio some people might try just stretching it out but you all know what that's going to do look how horrible this now looks it's just stretched and awful we don't like that uh, another thing you might try is content aware fill because it's pretty powerful and you might fill in this area here let's try that um, but I'm guessing because she's so close to the sample area yes it's going to sample her and that doesn't look good. So what can you do? Well, as the title of this video suggests, we have something called Content Aware Scale. I think I might have said Move earlier. I hope I said Content Aware Scale instead of Content Aware Move. Uh, so you go to Edit, Content Aware Scale. That's what we want. And now you can now you can resize it the way you would before, only Photoshop analyzes which part of your image has the detail in to preserve. So you can stretch this and you'll see the background is the thing getting stretched, not her. And uh, this can go to quite an extent. You'll see here it's stretching there. It's starting to pull on her arm a little bit. But uh, this was quite a drastic change in aspect ratio anyway. But you see the idea. And from before and after, she looks pretty much unstretched. Uh, just another quick example here. Um, same thing, same thing again. We have an image. We want it to be wider. Um, I don't know what. 100 pixels wide. And um, again, we can go up to Edit, Content Aware Scale, and the background will get stretched and not her, our subject. And that's pretty good. Um, so you can see there, she's still pretty much unstretched, yet the picture fills the area. There you go, that's content aware scale, just a quick, quick little look at it there and how you would use it and why you might use it. Um, so along with content aware fill and content aware scale, Photoshop is pretty powerful these days. And um, you could use it for everything. You, I would use it for ordering a uh, I can't end these videos very well. Ordering a pizza. Yeah, I would put the content aware in my phone book and put it on speed. I don't know where this is going, guys. Uh, remember to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.